The portal in the Whisper of the Worm mission has always been a mystery. On its own, in the distance, it beckoned guardians to come closer, but didn't have too much of a purpose besides some oracles. When you would approach, you can see through to the Vault of Glass. But in Into the Light, things have changed and a new image can be seen. Let's take a look. Yesterday, we went through some secrets in the new social space, the Hall of Champions. There's some cats with some dead ghosts or ghost shells around the area, which is pretty funny, and a secret room where a character has been making plans, possibly Lysander of the Concordat. Today, we go through some more changes in Into the Light that are intriguing. In the Whisper mission, when it first released, on your journey through various rooms and jumping puzzles, you came to a giant chasm with a ledge you must follow around to the left side. But in the distance, you were able to spot a random Vex portal. This was quite strange. We are on Io, the Vex Pyramidian is here, but there aren't many other portals like this in the Whisper area itself. What would be the purpose of this random portal for the Vex trying to enter the Whisper mission for what reason? And also, who designed it this way, just a random portal on a giant pillar? Where were they planning to go once they went through the portal? So if you strayed away from the main mission objective and made your way over to this area, you couldn't go through the portal, but you can see that it led to the Vault of Glass. Something cool that many may not remember is that in Destiny 1, this portal was actually used by our Guardian in the Paradox mission. This is the end of them. A path with no escape. And yet, here they are. There they were, and there they will be, and there they will have been. Welcome to the end of the Vex, their immutable future. In Destiny 2, when the Vault of Glass came to the game, the same portal was there. You couldn't enter that portal in the vault, but when you did the Catalyst steps and the quest for the Vex Mythoclast, the portal would light up at the end. And where did it show? The Whisper of the Worm mission. So, full circle, Whisper portal showed the vault, the vault showed Whisper. Where it gets even more strange is this week when the Whisper of the Worm mission returned in Into the Light. My first run, upon glancing through the portal, it was the same, the Vault of Glass. But runs after that, another image appeared. I'm not sure if this is a bug or part of something bigger like a secret or quest to come in the coming weeks, but it's hard to decipher what exactly this is. me it appears to be some purple corridor surrounded by rocks. There are flowers and some type of flora on the right and left, maybe grass. Some say they see a Vex waterfall, but to me it looks just like a corridor with a floor that has radiolaria in the middle. What do you see? The Vault of Glass is essentially a timeless realm that served as a testing ground for the Vex. Here, they would conduct experiments and operations that could potentially influence their goal of achieving convergence, their own final shape. We also know the Vex have their own network and many portals in different locations, so it makes sense that all of these portals connect, but the question is, where is this? My random first thought that popped up was this looked kind of similar to some of the Pale Heart screenshots, the darkness-infused locations that the Witness has influenced. Now there's what we believe is Radiolaria in this image, so that may not fit with that theory too much, but it kind of reminded me of some of the purple hues we see in that location. 
So let us know your thoughts. Is this a teaser for the final shape or episodes or just a bug? Maybe we'll see some more images in the coming weeks as Into the Light progresses. Next up, in Into the Light, there's also been a gameplay change to the Blight heroic events that fit what's going on with the overall universe. It's a small change, but a great touch by Bungie. The forces of the Witness fight to keep us away from the portal. That's this overall story. We defend in Onslaught to push them back and get sweet new weapons in the process. It seems this isn't just exclusive to the new mode though, because throughout the world, if you make the Blight public event heroic, a Tormentor will now spawn instead of the previous bosses. Into the Light has added some great features. If you didn't know, you can access your vault from anywhere if you are the host. Any guardian has been able to access their vault from orbit, but if you are the host and select an activity while in patrol, for example, it will give you an option to open your vault. Not sure if this is intended or a bug, but it's helpful if the third-party apps are down for maintenance. There's also other small features added like character recustomization. If you want to change the look of your guardian, you can now do that at any time for free at the character selection screen. As you saw with that screen pop up there, name changes are also a thing. Bungie gave us one in the past, so if you haven't used that, you have two name changes available if you'd like to change your guardian name in Destiny 2. Also, before we wrap it up, another great tip I've seen involves Onslaught. Obviously, the batteries will repair the ADU, but if your ADU is at full health, you still want to throw the batteries at it because you'll get three times scrap. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. Some updates and Into the Light that are pretty cool. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore, news, and mysteries like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.